hello and welcome again today as I promised you I want to talk about the end section and split case pumps which one is the better for uh, your project based in the performance and the efficiency and many aspects and characteristics of the pumps so let's begin so what is the end section pump End section pump is a single suction pump having its suction nozzle on the opposite side of the casing from the stuffing box and having the face of the suction nozzle perpendicular to the longitudinal axis of the shaft usually of the overhang hung impeller type in which the impeller is mounted on the end of the shaft which is overhung from the its bearing supports A single end suction pumps are available as close coupled in which the impeller is mounted directly on the motor shaft or separately coupled in which the impeller is mounted on a separate pump shaft supported by its own bearings as we can see this is the separately coupled pump and this is the end suction closed coupled pump here is a cross section in the end suction pump. Advantages of end suction pumps The low initial cost for most scenarios. This is very attractive for the correct application. In addition, these pumps have a reputation for being fairly efficient considering the low price point. Second, both of these are thanks to the simple design of the pump. It does not use any valves, contains very few moving parts, and takes up very little space. Simply put a motor, turns the impeller, which moves the water or other fluids from point A to point B, the simplicity allows for operation with very little maintenance. What are the disadvantages of end suction pumps? The disadvantages include the fact that it relies on the rotation of the impeller to move the fluid. Because of this, this is important to properly prime the pump before use a pump is primed by filling it completely with fluid before bringing it to operating speed second cavitation issue a pump will experience cavitation when air makes its way into the mix for example increasing the speed of a pump before it is fully primed Air can also be introduced when the high speed of the fluid causes vapor bubbles to form. The bubbles bursting will cause cavitation and eventually allow corrosion of the impeller and casing to take place. What is the horizontal split case pump? It is a centrifugal pump characterized by a housing that is split parallel to the shaft, usually of impeller between bearing type, in which the impeller is mounted on a shaft with the bearings at both ends. Horizontal split case pumps are available as separately coupled single stage or multi stage type. Advantages of horizontal split case pumps Horizontal split case pumps have a smaller footprint compared with a frame mounted pump of the same rating in most cases. The top half of the casing is easy to remove for inspection of the rotor and you do not need to disturb the driver or the piping to accomplish this inspection. They typically have higher efficiencies than frame-mounted pumps of the same 
size. Because of the dual eye, dual section, impeller design, there are lower net positive section head required in PSHR factors and lower axial thrust. This design lends itself to a short shaft with the result of low deflection. Typically, these pumps offer dual volute construction which significantly reduces the radial thrust component. Disadvantages of horizontal split case pumps The pump is sensitive to horizontal elbows on the pump suction site. Fluid flow through the horizontal elbows and uses asymmetrical pressures on the impeller that lead to shortened bearing and seal life. The casing does not lend itself to a confined gasket design, so there are consequential horsepower and pressure limits. Because the casing halves are truly not halves from the mass start point. The pump's upper and lower portions will expand and contract at different rates with temperature changes, leading to alignment, bearing life, and sealing issues. The pump can carry increased costs because it has two stuffing boxes, so two seals or sets of packing are required per pump. Many claim that these pumps are more sensitive to pipe strain, but this factor may vary based on model and manufacturer. While the dual section impeller is a benefit from an NS NPSHR aspect, the shaft running through the impeller reduces the effective eye area, creating problems with suction specific speed factors and multiple issues with any departure from the best efficiency point BEP, recirculation and separation issues when operating away from the BAP cause impeller damage and thrust issues. This pump design is sensitive to problems with ring clearances. Issues will arise from either the amount of clearance as it opens up from weir or the differences in clearances from one side of the pump to the other. Here is a general comparison between the two pumps types in different characteristics and aspects. As we are seeing here, the end suction pump and the split case pump uh, for the durability and efficiency, it is uh, less for the end suction pump where it is uh, more for the split case pump. So the advantage here is for the split case pump. Second aspect, radial loads which is more for the end suction pump and less for the split case pump. The advantage here also for the split case pump. Capacities range. It is less for the end suction pump where it is uh, more for the split case pump. The advantage here also for the split case pump. The initial cost is less for the end suction pump whereas it is more for the split case pump so the advantage here for the end suction pump. The bearing life is less for the end suction pump and more for the split case pump which is advantage. Maintenance requirement is more for the end suction pump and less for the split case pump which is advantage. Last space required the end suction pump requires less space 
and which is advantage for the intersection pump where it is require more space for the split case pumps which is not advantage here in section pump performance curves we are going to make some comparison between the in section uh, pump and uh, uh, split case pumps with comparison between their characteristics uh, curves and performance curves so let's have uh, the in section uh, pump first we have uh, as we are seeing here we have this uh, pump curves from the manufacturer for the speed of uh, 1750 rpm so uh, let's take an impeller of uh, for example 618 diameter in this uh, impeller let's consider we have uh, the operating uh, point coming for the flow is uh, 225 so we can find out the, the, the uh, intersection between the diameter and the flow here approximately here in this point at this point we have this is the pump curve here this is the pump curve and if we follow the efficiency curves we can get the efficiency approximately here which is approximately 40 percent let's take the same example for a horizontal split case pump so as we said we have the impeller of uh, six inch six inch here and we have approximately 225 which is here so the pump curve coming uh, approximately here the pump curve here and the efficiency for this pump this is the best efficiency point for this pump and the efficiency coming approximately let's say 60 60 or 62 63 64 64 percent so compared to the same impeller and same uh, speed we got motor speed we got 60% uh, in the split case pump compared to the end suction pump which is we got 40 so 64 better than 40 that means that means the split case pump is better than the end suction pump for the same impeller characteristics and for the same motor speed we reached uh, to the last part of our uh, video as a conclusion of our study we find that the split case pumps are more reliable and efficient for hydronic applications uh, this is also due to the following advantages first these pumps are fully enclosed balanced in one piece impeller design and they are high efficiency Split coupling, split coupling simplifies maintenance, close coupling as well. Top pull out design for ease of maintenance. Flanged suction and discharge on common center line. Coupling guard for protection during operation. Space saving design allows for use in tight installations or modular packages and top pull out design to simplify maintenance. If you have any comments, questions, please write them below, below the video. Kindly like and share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.